I'm here in the Southwest Valley in Las Vegas, and we are Summerlin adjacent right here. This is a two-story community. There is a three-story floor plan available. The third floor on that three-story is going to be a loft. And so at least it's not a kitchen you have to carry your groceries up to. So I am going into the plan two here at this community. And this is 2424 square feet. It is three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three bathrooms, and a two car garage. So the first thing I notice is this great little courtyard. A little extra space right here. You can landscape it as you wish. And it does have paver style brick patio. Love this. And I notice that it is metal all the way around because if it was dirt against the wall, that would actually not be good. That would definitely not be good. And um, you don't want water intrusion on your home. So let's walk in and see what this home looks like. All right. So again, 24, 24 square feet. Love the electric fireplace and this stone veneer on here. Lots of windows in this home. I'm a huge fan of windows. And you see some mountain views over here. And then here's the kitchen. And I really like what they did right here. This is the extra cabinet space and um, some nice quartz countertops. This is a waterfall finish on this island kitchen. This is more like a maple on these cabinets and then they have a more modern look to them. We have a gas stove five burner here with a nice range hood over there. Dishwasher. You have a single oven with a microwave on top. Beautiful. Love the fixtures that they chose. You'll see that they did not put pendant lighting here. That's something I would do for something this nice, although it might have competed with that over there. Let's take a look on the outside here. So you have a nice backyard, some seating. This is about maybe 15 feet for the backyard. And it looks like they put a pizza oven back there. All right, let's take a look at the front here. All right, powder room down here has a nice masculine look to it, which means that this could probably be the office. And this office is open. This would be considered a den. It does not have a door here. You could put a door. You could put, I would probably put some glass doors, obscure glass so that you can get the light in, but you don't necessarily have it totally blocked off where you can see inside. Mountain views from over here. Let's go upstairs. What I do like about this entry is that it does have the volume ceilings as soon as you walk in. This is an upgraded carpet, as you can see. They have a beautiful finish on the walls here too, by the way, I wanna point that out. It's like a, a, a plastery Venetian plaster, but not as busy and, and um, it's just nicely done, tastefully done. This is the loft. I like that they put the glass in, although I don't know that I'd choose that for my particular house. Laundry room with the sink. So this is the way it would come standard like this. No cabinets. This is an upgrade right here. And then you have your smart box here. So let's go down this hallway. 
we have the secondary bathroom right here with double sinks. This is a full bathroom. I like that they do have the door here between the shower and the sinks. Most builders make that an extra cost. So here you have one of the secondary bedrooms. Again, 24, 24 square feet. This price starts at 609 and that's for elevation A. So it does have a pre-wire for ceiling fan or light fixture there. Here's the other bedroom. So you have three bedrooms upstairs and a den downstairs. So that den could be converted to a fourth bedroom. Nice walk-in closet. Lots of space over here. And we go into the primary suite. Here's the primary suite. Very spacious. Nice feel when you walk in. Lots of windows, beautiful views from this particular home site. And as I may have mentioned before, this is a single street that this uh, community is. So half the homes are on this side of the street. So half of the homes would have this view, this beautiful mountain view here. And we are just across the street from Summerlin here. So it's 609 for 24, 24 square feet and um, three to four bedrooms is actually a really good price. And we have a nice water closet and they did a beautiful job with this. Absolutely beautiful job with this shower. It's not quite as big as those super showers, which are a little bit, a little too large. It's just right. And then you have here the double sinks with some room for makeup or whatever else you want to put here and then it's nice when you walk out you're not right on top of something so and again window view right here and then a walk-in closet now of course this closet system is an extra cost and i usually recommend putting that in after close of escrow so you probably get it a lot less expensive if you go with an outside vendor So what do you think of this home? I'm very curious. Please put in the comments what you think of this property and how you feel about the value for the area. So loft plus three bedrooms and a den. And as you're watching this video, if you can like and subscribe to our channel, it would be greatly appreciated. We love bringing these new home tours to you. And that's all for today's tour. We'll catch you in the next one. It's Heather with the Keys Group Real Estate Team, and I'm happy to help with all your real estate needs.